Hello and welcome everyone to this channel. My name is Kumar Saurabh and today in this video tutorial, we learn about the Python SciPy derivative. Let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First we will know about Python SciPy derivative of a function. After this Python SciPy second derivative of a function. Then we will understand Python SciPy derivative of array and we will also learn about Python SciPy second derivative of array. At the end, we will know python scipy plot derivative of array. Now move to the first topic python scipy derivative of a function. A function's rate of change concerning an independent variable can vary. And this is what derivatives are. When a variable quantity and a variable rate of change exist, the derivative is most frequently used. The method derivative of a python scipy scipy.msi module determines a points value for a function's nth derivative. The syntax of the method is as follows scipy.misc.derivative where parameters are function it is the input function x0 a point where the n derivative can be discovered dx it is a spacing n it is a derivative of order by default it is a 1 args it is used to provide extra argument to the method order it uses just an odd number of points let's see with an example how to compute the derivative of a function import the necessary module so here we are importing misc from the library scipy execute the code now define the function whose derivative we want to find x square plus x cube execute the code now pass the above function to a method derivative with x0 is equal to 1.5 and dx is equal to 1e minus 2 which represents 0 0.01 execute the code from the output you can see that 9.75 is the derivative value of a function x square plus x cube. This is how to find the derivative of a function using the method derivative of python scipy. The next topic is python scipy second derivative of a function. The second derivative roughly speaking measures how quantity's rate of change is itself changing. For example, the second derivative of an object position concerning time is the object's instantaneous acceleration or the rate at which the object's velocity is changing. The python scipy method derivative accepts an argument n that specifies the order of the derivative such as the first derivative if n equal to 1 and the second derivative if n equal to 2 and so on. Let's find the second derivative of a function. Import the required modular libraries. So here we are importing misc from the library scipy. Execute the code. Now define a function x cube plus x square. Execute the code. Now pass the above function to a method derivative with x0 equal to 1 and n equal to 2 which represent the derivative order and dx is equal to 1e minus 4 which is equal to 0 0.001. Here n equal to 2 means second derivative. So here we are going to find second derivative of a function x cube plus x square. Now execute this code. From the output we can see that 7.9 is the second derivative of a function x cube plus x square. This is how to find the second derivative of a given function using the method derivative with parameter n. The next topic is python scipy derivative of array. In this topic we will utilize array containing functions within a python loop and apply the derivative function to calculate the array's derivative. Let's find the derivative of array with an example. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing misc module from the library scipy. Execute the code. Now we are going to define two functions using a lambda x square plus 3x plus 2 and x cube plus 3x plus 2. Execute the code. Now create a array of functions using the list. Execute the code. Now here we are accessing each function that exists within array and finding its derivative. Execute the code. From the output we can see that the derivative of an array, the derivative of a first function that exists in the array is 5.0 and the derivative of a second function that exists in array is 7.0. This is how to find the derivative of a 
array. The next topic is Python SciPy second derivative of array. The processes to compute the array's derivative will be the same in this topic as they were in the previous topic. But we will make a small adjustment to a method's derivative argument n to define the nth order of derivative. Let's compute the second derivative of the array with an example. Import the required module or libraries. So here we are importing misc from the library scipy. Execute the code. Now we are going to define two functions using a lambda x to the power 4 plus 2x square plus 2 and x to the power 3 plus 2x square plus 2. Execute the code. Then we are going to create array functions using the list. Execute the code. Now we are going to find the second order derivative of a functions within the array using the loop. In the code, we are passing the parameter n equal to 2a method derivative for computing the second order derivative of a function within the array. Execute the code. From the output, we can see that the second derivative value of the first function is 2.0 and second function is 6.0. This is how to calculate the second order derivative of array using the method derivative with parameter n of python scipy. The last topic of this tutorial is python scipy plot derivative of array. From the earlier topics, we have already learned how to compute the derivative. Here we will compute the derivative and plot that derivative to observe how it appears. Let's compute and plot the derivative of array with an example. Import the required method or libraries. So here we are importing matplotlib.py plot as plt then importing numpy as np after this importing method derivative from the library scipy.misc execute the code now define the function 3 into x into x into plus x plus 2 execute the code now find the derivative of the above defined function execute the code now define the x axis intervals using the method np.linspace. space. Execute the code. Now plot the above function and its derivative. Execute the code. This is how to plot the derivative of the array. Before we end this tutorial, let me tell you that we have detailed post about Python SciPy derivative and link to the post is given in the below description. Now I hope that you have enjoyed video tutorial about python scipy derivative and learned how to compute and plot the derivative of a array or functions. So at last I want to say don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel. Thank you.